Now let's move on to the one behind uh, D'Anthony's uh, shoulder here, if you don't mind, the O.J. Simpson one. Now, O.J. is out, and he's still looking for the real killers, unless you think O.J. did this one. Um, this I believe is that O.J. was present, along with a second person, whom I believe uh, to have been his son, Jason. I think there's no way in the world that O.J. Simpson could have inflicted 17 wounds on one person, 17 on the other, his wife, and Ron Goldman, who was delivering glasses uh, to her from the restaurant. Um, and uh, with all the bleeding, when you sever carotid and uh, and jugular veins, carotid arteries, jugular veins in the neck, blood spurts. Repeat, where's all the blood? They went to OJ's house, the sewers, the toilets, and the bathtub, the shower, the sinks, no blood found. One drop of blood on a, on a sock was proved to be planted that had anticoagulant material, like in a tube from a doctor's office, not blood from your vein or mine. Uh, where's all the blood? Where's the clothing? Where's the instrument? How is that all accomplished? I I do believe, and my colleagues, I can speak for them on this point. We've discussed this many times, Dr. Henry Lee, Dr. Michael Bodden, that there was a second person. I believe, speaking for myself, that it was Jason who was out of control. Uh, his, um, <clears throat> his stepmother had disappointed him. She didn't go to his restaurant for the celebration that night, and an ugly argument ensued. I don't know the details of that. Ron Goldman, uh, quite fortuitously and regrettably for him, happened to be there, and that is what ensued. That's the O.J. Simpson case. Yeah, because in, in the one uh, doc that I saw on, uh, uh, I, I think it was the ID channel, um, they had brought up the possibility that uh, it, it was the son uh, along with O.J. during that. Um, yeah. Now, the cops disputed that. Um, now, you're saying the, the blood was planted on the... It was one drop. It was one drop. One drop by the forensic toxicologist that the defense hired to have contained an anticoagulant substance, which is not in our bloods. It is in a tube when blood is collected in the lab or at your doctor's office. So, um, so, so you do believe they, that the, the cops did plant blood on OJ's clothing? Oh, somebody, some, some, somebody planted that one drop of blood. That is right. That is what I believe. And in, in, inside the Bronco as well? I was there blood found in a Bronco. I don't recall that. Yeah, yeah. on the uh, uh, gosh, on the what's the uh, glove compartments and then well, the OJ, center OJ console. Well, OJ did have a small uh, laceration. Didn't he have something? I he remember. did. Yes, correct. Yeah, yep. he has something. So that's where the blood came from. Remember, he left in a couple of hours. Yep, flew to Chicago for some appointment. So that's the OJ Simpson case. Let me tell you what my friend, a colleague, Dr. Henry Lee says: ninety percent. White people think OJ guilty. 90% black people yeah. think OJ innocent. 90% Chinese people don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs>